Hard Rock Cancun. This place is legendary. It's the most popular hotel in Cancun. It's the most famous hotel in Cancun. This place's reputation is almost larger than the property itself. I'm here to find out why. This is Coolest Luxury Hotels, Hard Rock, Cancun. All right, Hard Rock Cancun. This is the entry level room. This is the most popular room at Hard Rock. It's the cheapest room. Uh, it's certainly not five star as advertised, not even close. It does have some really cool redeemable features. The beds are super comfortable and that jacuzzi tub is awesome. However, it has some weird funky stuff going on as well. If you want all the details, check the description below. I did a dedicated room tour. So it rained last night, unfortunately, which means I only have three days and three nights to do this entire property. I definitely think I can get it all done. Uh, there happens to be three high-end restaurants. I plan on doing one every single night. There are multiple pools, the beach, and awesome bars and lounges. I plan on doing it all in the next 72 hours. This is Hard Rock Cancun. Let's get it started. This pool, Hard Rock Cancun, it's the best pool I've ever been to in my entire life. Any hotel, anywhere in the world, this is far and above the best. I can't even put it into words right now. I'm going to have to describe it to you later. All I can say is that it's incredible. I'm still trying to process it and take it all in. I'm only halfway through. I just took an intermission. I had some lunch over at the poolside pizza and burger stand. I just had the best burger I've ever had at any all-inclusive. I know it seems like I'm on an emotional high right now, trust me on that, it was delicious. Uh, I also got a really strong pina colada, and now I'm gonna check out the other half of this pool. Wow, wow, wow. I'm speechless about today. And I think a big reason for that is because I never saw today coming. Typically, hard rock pools are predictably bland and boring and overpopulated, and this was the opposite. Uh, this hotel pool spanned the entire width of the property, more than enough room to accommodate every single person at this hotel. It had fantastic style with twists and turns and alcoves. It had a double infinity edge, the views of the ocean were breathtaking. There wasn't a kid in sight. The crowd was phenomenal. Multiple swim up bars. And as if that wasn't enough, the foam party started at 2 p.m. This foam party went off three times harder than the weekend party at Royalton Chic. And it's a Wednesday here. I can only imagine what the weekend parties are like. All right, so I'm gonna keep this momentum going. I'm off to the number one restaurant on site here. I'm off to Toro, the steakhouse. For an all-inclusive and for a hard rock, Toro last night was outstanding. It had this really dramatic entrance with the glass doors and the mezzanine that overlooked the grand dining area. Uh, the ambiance was upscale and classy with dim lighting, floor to ceiling windows. The service was impeccable. The menu was huge. It was pages long. It was bigger than most standard steakhouse menus. The food was delicious. It came out immediately. Again, for a hard rock and for an all-inclusive, it was outstanding.
The biggest standout about the Hard Rock Beach is the water. I talk a lot about the super hyper electric blues that you see in the Caribbean, and this has it. But the thing that's so cool about this water is that it's layered. It starts out as crystal clear, then it moves on to turquoise, then teal, then light blue, then dark blue. It's this really awesome multi-dimensional effect that is mesmerizing to look at. So Zen had some edge, it had a little personality. It actually has some semblance of a Japanese restaurant. If you wanna eat only sushi, you could sit down at the bar. Uh, of course, you could do hibachi, which is always a crowd pleaser. Or you could sit down and order off the menu traditionally, and that's what I did. Everything I had was surprisingly great, except the Szechuan salmon. That was unbelievable. So I'm gonna to keep tonight moving. I'm off to go check out the entertainment show. That Michael Jackson show from last night was marvelous. It's the best entertainment show I've seen at any all-inclusive up until this point. And remember, I've been to 25 in the last 12 months. After the show ended, I went down to the lobby to check out the party for the evening. It was packed. There was so much energy. People were mobbed around the bar, socializing, drinking, laughing. There was a lounge area if you just want to sit down and chill and take in the scene. And there was a dance floor as well. So it's my last day here, and what I'm gonna do right now is take you to the exclusive VIP pools. They're on the third level. I have no idea how I have access to them, maybe because I booked through Expedia. All I know is that they're elevated and they overlook this entire property. So the VIP pools, they were small, uh, they were quiet, they were isolated, but I liked that. It was a little bit of tranquility in the midst of a chaotic Hard Rock Cancun. Uh, it was definitely an intimate setup. There were just two small private pools. There was food out there and the views of the property, the beach and the ocean were fantastic. Chow last night felt like an authentic Italian dining experience. The place was elegant, the service was exceptional, and the food was delicious. I was able to cut that short rib with a fork, which is always a sign of decent short rib, and that lasagna was delicious. Chow is right up there with Toro Steakhouse as the best spot to eat at here at Hard Rock Cancun. This morning I woke up and I went down to the coffee shop for breakfast. I think this place is open 24 hours a day. If it's not, it's pretty much open all day. It's a great spot to get a coffee, a beverage, or a quick grab and go bite anytime throughout the day. So just how good is Hard Rock Cancun? Uh, before I get to that, which I think you're gonna be shocked by, I'm gonna give you three negatives and three positives. Let's start with the negatives. Let's get those out of the way. Uh, first of all, the restaurants. Now I'll talk later about the food quality, but in terms of the number of restaurants, it's actually quite disappointing. For a hotel of this size, for a hotel of this reputation, for a hotel like the Hard Rock, only having three legitimate dining options at night is just not a disappointment. It's actually more of an embarrassment. Speaking of disappointing and borderline embarrassing, especially for a hard rock, is the nightlife here. There aren't a lot of nightlife options. The only place to really hang out at night is the lobby bar. And yes, they have live music or maybe karaoke or something like that. But for a hard rock, I feel there should be a lot more entertainment options at night. Other hard rocks have multiple bars, lounges, and even a nightclub. This place just had a lobby bar. 
And then lastly, the rooms. The rooms actually grew on me while I was here. I actually warmed up to them. Uh, I'm really not too disappointed in the luxury. They're not five star, but that's not what I'm gonna complain about. The rooms just lack in soundproofing in a major way. Uh, if you have loud neighbors or neighbors in general, you're probably gonna hear them. And you are certainly going to hear what's ever outside, whether that is an event, the pool party, or even the hotels next door. So those are the negatives. What about the positives? What makes this Hard Rock great? Firstly, hardly any kids. I have experienced more leap years over the last decade than I've experienced seeing kids here at Hard Rock. I've counted less than a handful through my entire trip. Secondly, the pool was amazing. I'm still thinking about it even a couple days later. As I said, it is the best hotel pool I've ever seen in my life. All-inclusive, non-all-inclusive, anywhere in this world. And thirdly, I can't believe I'm going to say this, for a hard rock, for an all-inclusive, the food is delicious. Uh, everywhere I went, I had delicious food, whether that was Toro, Zen, Chow, even the grab-and-go stuff by the pool, it was awesome. For a hard rock, for an all-inclusive, the food here was impressive. So with all that being said, I'm gonna give Hard Rock Cancun a five. This is an excellent hotel. I never saw this coming. I'm personally shocked. Uh, it was great everywhere, from the food, to the beach, to the pools, to the service. And plus, it's so cool with its Hollywood hip, art deco, rock and roll theme. 